Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Jason Hots here. We're heading in for episode number 14 of our Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough with our Paladin Kellantir. This should be our last good guy run for a while. I know right now, my campaign over with uh, Shane I'm playing is kind of a bad guy run, or at least he is. I'm sort of neutral. I did want to start off today, just like I start off all my YouTube videos now, with uh, just a gentle reminder and shout out to those that are subscribed and watching the channel. Shout out to you 5% that are watching and are subscribed. For those 95% that are not subscribed, I would ask you to please consider doing the right thing and subscribing. Help me uh, get to that 500 goal that I eventually need to monetize the channel. I uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribe. All right, so when we last left off, we were just about to confront the heart of the um, Steel Watch Boundary. See, we got three different wa Hellfire Watchers up here. We got a few Rock Bros to help us out along with the Cambion. Um, looks like we're not fully buffed. My face protects me. Did not do a aid. So let's do a fourth level aid for all of us. But I got, I mean, I got the elixir of bloodlust, but that's not going to help me out very much here. But we got the mage armor. We're good there. We got uh, long strider on everybody. I think I just had forgotten that one. Let's see. So I've got Aura of Protection up. I guess Gale is too far away yes. to have Aura of Protection. There we go. Okay, so they really do have to be really tight and close. Okay. Good to know. Never a dull moment. Alright. Should mind my step. And there we go. Here he comes. Yeah, we'll shield. Don't need to be hit by that. So far, so good. All right, so let's start with haste. Now we're actually gonna have him come back over here. He's gonna tuck up around the corner so that he can't be hit, so she gets to keep the haste. He'll pop out and throw spells, but yeah. Ooh, pinned down, that hurts. That was a big hit too. All right, so let's take a look at these guys before we start attacking. See, resistant to fire, which makes sense. Psychic immunity and poison immunity, so our mind games are not gonna work here. Uh, there's no point in using any of the poisons. So they have piercing resistance, even to magical, but for slashing resistance and bludgeoning, they only have uh, resistance to non-magical attacks, which is good. And then for these guys, same thing. Same, same. So cold works great on them, uh, lightning. Fire, however, not so much. But for him, I've got either fire or slashing. And I'm not sure that his is magical slashing. And the fire has the potential to do a lot more damage anyway. So we are still going to use fire for him. Resistance be damned. And then we're going to at least try to get him up here and in one of these guys' faces 
to threaten them because they are uh, they're raged. So in a perfect world, we do that. We get uh, we get somebody in melee to threaten them at least. I want to try to go to here to see if I can sunbeam and clip. Yeah, I get to clip two of them. I'll take that. They both saved. The lame, but that's fine. Go ahead and Albert it up. So he's pinned down, which is not the best. Hmm. Old monster seems pretty good here. I was saved. No, well, that's too bad. Him go uh, get into melee with this guy. Um, we can hex next turn. A lot of these guys to kill. Inquisitor's might get started. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's throw it in. We'll get started. We'll, we'll all get started on this guy. Whiffed. the whole turn to get out of that, which is good. Um, let's see. Mobile, I suppose. That should really be around the corner now. There we go. I still, I think I still full health. And again, we'll 
harm him. Get in melee with him. Resistant to piercing and fire. So, like all of her big stuff, really. Let's see. A lot of little damage, but you know, it all adds up. This guy moved just out of the range. Feels bad. Did he take an attack of opportunity? No. Concentrating on anything, so let's get let's get Hunter's Mark up. now. Free to go. Let's see. Just go like to there. Can't sit up there, baby girl. Come on, you're in the way. I can't see through ya. I know, she's so silly. Where are you going? Now my boy is offended because I moved a little. And he's out. Poor Will. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah. Let's. Oh. Can't afford to let up. Let's 
let's heal. Um, yeah, everybody can use a little heal right now. Save that for the big guy. Big guy. I think he's done. We're moving on. Keep playing peekaboo. Concentrating on anything. Let's go ahead and give this to Calentier. Oh, she gave it to herself. And not to Calentier. This is my That's right. Time. Okay, uh, let's see. here because I think that guy's gonna explode soon. Thing is moving. I didn't know it could do that. It definitely got out of the way of the explosion, though, which is a little upsetting, but oh well. Yep. Yeah. 
basement. Let's have him fly over here. He's a little closer. And he doesn't quite get there. It feels bad. Oh wow. Alright. So let's take a look at defensive bulwark. While in this defensive state, the Stale Watcher becomes unyielding. Which means only attacks dealing at least 15 damage can harm this Steel Watcher. And can use its repair matrix. At the start of each turn, it gets 3 to 24 hit points back. So, 3d4. Um, Hellfire Missiles, which is ridiculous. And then uh, Repelling Protocol. So that last one, he tried to use Repelling Protocol. And it's two turns. And then at that point, he gets all of the temp hit points back. Unless we can break the shield. So that's what we're going to try to do. Try me. So you can see that one did 19, so that worked. That one did not deal enough. Twenty-three, amazing. And seventeen. Good. Very good. So you can see their hits their melee attacks are eight to eighteen, so it's not impossible, but it's not likely. Oh, no, that one, that one got 10. Oh, because I think it was res maybe resistant to it? Interesting. Either way. Let's see. Gail, you got any big attacks here? Any big spell scrolls we should know about? Fireball's probably not going to do it. I kind of forgot to reassign his spells, but... Cone of Cold should probably get the breakthrough of that barrier, more than likely. And there you go, we've knocked him out of his defense protocol. Like that. I'm gonna go back down the stairs. Just stick with the old tried and true, shall we? We'll bump this up to a second level, though. Nice. Forever dauntless. Ah, uh, yep. Nice. Good hit. Chipping away. And he goes right back into it. Okay, 
space. So everybody in that circle is uh, got to get out of there before turn ends. But I might be able to break through his barrier again. We'll see. 23, that's a great start. 21, yeah. 19, wow, I might do it by myself. Yeah. Get you a paladin that can do all of it themselves. And that means that everybody's damage will go through again now. Let's go ahead and throw a chromatic orb at him for thunder damage. Oh, missed. Second level. On the victor's path. Nice. It's all adding up. No. Just stop it. Lame that he do, he's doing this every turn. Lame. Only has two hits through that time. Sadly. Did not get through the shield. Sadly. None of these are gonna get through, surely. No. This might. Nope, critical miss. These are more likely to get through because of the damage threshold. Yeah, perfect. That was good. And it's just gonna do it again. No, oh, he actually attacked for once. That's good. There it is. We came out pretty unscathed, actually. Not bad. We get the uh, Gaunter Mail, which is really good. It's a really, really good uh, bow. It's the best bow in the game. Unfortunately, none of us really use bows. I mean, I should have somebody wear it. Question is, whom? So let's take a look at it, right? On hit, possibly inflict guiding bolt on the target. I, I don't know if that's a hit with the bow or not, but it doesn't specify it. This object uh, gives uh, glowing light, it's a plus three enchantment, and it gives the ability to cast uh, Celestial Haste, which is pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Sure, let's give it to Shadowheart. So she can cast haste on us if she wants. At the ready. And I'll also go ahead and grab the uh, enriched infernal iron from all the other Hell Watchers. Okay. Healed. 
I almost just got regular infernal iron, but that's fine. I have something to ask. We're okay with that. The neurositor. I can hear its hum. Familiar, yet painful. I helped design the steel watches, toiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the steel watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Are you ready, my friend? Do it. Gond, let your hammer be my courage, your furnace my heart. It's been a while, my friend. I saw the explosions from across the pond. I should have known you'd be right in the thick of it. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. The city thanks you. I thank you. Hey, you're welcome. But it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Wilburn, enough. The Gondians are no more. I am all that is left. Take the city. Let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and mourn my daughter in peace. Tobin is right. It's over. Please. <laughs> If a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. Tubin will lie, torment, and scheme until his dying breath. Kill him, or the Iron Hands will. Wolverine, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand Gnomes had corrupted you, Wolbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill Tubin, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. That's pretty good. Let's see. Leave now, little Wolverine, or else I'll, I'll split you from head to navel. That's a promise. That's pretty good. Pretty good bonus. And a good shot at it. Yeah, eat. Wow. Didn't even need the bonus. How about a 32? I thought you were rebel in arms. I see now you were but a snake, waiting for its moment to strike. Keep your blind, Gondian. I have no use for broken things, but know that I will not rest until this city is rid of the Gondians and their bootlickers. When the day comes, my hammer will find your skulls and crack them wide open. Iron hands, move out. I followed him through the city, to the wilds, through the underdark, and back home again. Braved goblins, shades, and evil I can hardly describe. 
Still, I just can't save Wolbrin. He won't rest until the Gondians are dead, and you in the bargain. Let him come. I'll be ready. I know. And one of you will die. Wolbrin, I'd wager. Which is why I'm going after him. Someone has to stop him from ending his life in a blaze of foolishness. I'd tell you to write, but I never check the post. Uh, farewell, my friend. And good luck. I think it is past time Obelia and I left this city. There is nothing for us here now. Take a little bit of uh, Colonel Iron Arrested over here. For theft. If you have a defense, oh. make it now. I'm trying to talk my way out of it. Do you really care if an old trinket goes missing? They believe you. Fine, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and let's um, get over to the lower city. Welcome back to Sorcerous Sun. What will it be? Well, got a few extra things to sell. Not much, but you know, some stuff here and there. I really didn't get that much from the from there. Oh, no, we, we sent a lot of it back to camp, though, so we could go pick it up at camp. Let's do that. Sure, we'll get that to start, but then there's going to be more. Let's see. I was like, I know we picked up a bunch of stuff because we sent it all back to camp. Look at all this stuff we have. Welcome back to You're sure to find what you're looking for. Hope so. thousand gold worth of plate there we're gonna save the infernal iron for um, 
salmon. Hey, girly. Come on, hey there. I'm a good girl. Now might be a good time for us to infiltrate um, Sorcerer's Sundries and go steal a bunch of stuff. My cat is in the way of my left hand, or else I would be uh, doing each thing all together, but I can't because she's in the way right now. That's it. For now. I do want some um, of these, though. Some of these scrolls. Maybe I don't. Definitely want those. Disintegrate and the Contra Elemental. Please come again soon. It's you. I never forget a noble stalk is why the customers came. We were out. Go on then. All right. We'll definitely take the potion of speed. I like ward fangs. Bloodlust. Take just the regular potions. Really, girl, I, I, I don't want to interrupt your kneading. I know you love it so, but you are kind of in the way. Look at that pretty kitty. Oh. All right, let's attempt to pet the cat. Let's see how that goes. Guidance. Nice. 23. The cat seems reluctant to part from me. Come along, kitty. Cat's like, no way. Nah, bro. I'm not about that domesticated life. I'm a free cat. What can I do for you? Found something you can work with. Well, well, well. I knew I smelled something. Sorry, that was me. Blood held us gloves. What can I do for you? Of course. Wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. I just don't really have anything new that we want. Um, hey, girly. So we'll sell them the rest of the infernal iron. He'd enjoy having all of that to work with. Um, let's see. Because, yeah, means we're out of stuff for him to make. 
Let's look at these gloves, though. Weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 damage. Unarmed, deal necrotic. Yeah, so that's not really that good for anybody. He's got bracers of defense, so he's going to keep those. I mean, I guess these are better than nothing for her. Until we find something better for her. We can give her those. And they're similar to the Dark Justicia gloves that we could have on her, but still plus one saving throw. It's just fire damage instead of necrotic. That's all we've got to sell for now, so we're good there. Alright. Let's see, what level are we? Level 10? Going on 11? I'll give it a shot. Let's go to hell. Literally. Welcome thee to the Devil's Fee, where every hellish curio's a rarity. It's truly. That's remarkable. I like to deal with remarkable people. Very well. You stand before Mammon's Picklock, latch keeper of the Nine Hells. Cool title. My business is not information, nor hellish curio's. Not really. I break people into the hells. That's my thing. Can you get me into the House of Hope? What a fascinating proposition. Ludicrous, of course, but fascinating nevertheless. Very well. If you wish to die in Avernus, that's your business. Mine is charging you for it. Of course, such a task will require Such a task would be tantamount. To suicide. Oh shit. Do not even entertain it. I wanna see what she has, by the way. Cloak of the Weave. Hmm. He doesn't have a cloak. He's all about the weed. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you. It's good on him. Whenever you make a spell attack roll, you spend a sorcery point to gain advantage. That's good for sorcerers. Um, we'll take these as well. And these. These are pretty good too. Cantrips targeting foes and allies can be targeted on an additional creature. The same target can be chosen twice. Hmm. I like those for her, actually. Wave the fee and I'll add one of Raphael's artifacts to your collection. Twenty 
I DC, but I got a big old bonus. You put me in a difficult position, mortal. You are almost certain to fail. Almost. Fine. I'd like to be able to carry all of my precious stock without the need of a team of oxen. There are gauntlets of hill giant strength within the House of Hope. Free passage, and you fetch them for me. Deal? Deal. Let's do this. Allow me to outline. First, you were never here. Second, you will perform the rites yourself. Oh, take this key. Along with the grimoire. And Finally, you were never here. Yeah, we, we got that part. That, I guess that was the first and the last part. Okay. I strongly suggest that you reconsider this course of action. Yeah, 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 I know. Expect a gain from the hells is not worth the risk of traveling there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. There's the instructions. Maybe they're around here somewhere. Okay, let's see. All of this stuff to camp. Stop cluttering up my inventory. Where's the ritual bag? There it is. Alright. So, let's see. Put the skull here. next to that. We skip a point and then put the diamonds in this one. Uh, next point is where the incense goes. And then this goes in the middle. Uh, excuse me, rock bro. Uh, this boy does not want to move. Question is, do we have enough resources to get this done today? I think we do. Um, she's still got her high level spells. She can actually just do this and get a couple, uh, get all of her lower spell slots back, which will work. And she gets short rest back, so she gets the. Uh, I should have used the channel divinity to heal us up first. But that's fine. And we've still got both short rests today. A hero at heart. So yeah, we'll do that eventually and get his spell slots back as well. Yeah, we, we'll be fine. We to live in more interesting times. How much farther can he, the Emperor? You came. Such a shame. Curiosity killed all the cats. It won't be so kind to you. As the woman speaks, you hear a distant rattle of chains, and she winces in pain. <sighs> the jailer will hear us. 
I shouldn't be talking to you. I must go. It's not kind to me. The figure flickers and starts to dim from view. But you sense she could be convinced to return. Maybe I can help you be free of whoever's hurting you. The figure shimmers brightly. I hope so. I can't leave. I could only suffer. I'm the thing that kills you and the only reason you're alive. I am hope. What little is left of her. A guttering candle in a universe of night. I'm not much of a friend to anyone anymore. I hear the jailer. It hears me. It'll call Raphael, make every question kind. Make some of them kind twice. Need to find the contract. Can you help? Caveat venditor. Big mistake coming here while Raphael holds all the cards in his claws. But big mistakes correct bigger mistakes. Like scribbling your signature in the first place. Silly little mice. But you hear a sound like the rattle of shh. Everyone here is talks mad. too much, man. I'll make you seem as ruined as the rest of the now whisper your questions, little wretch. But really quiet and very clever. Concentrate. Twenty one. Remember quiet as a mice. Or will I find my contract? The same place you'll find your sorry little soul. In the archive, down the corridor, past the debtor. Oh, the debtors. They won't like you. But I like you. I know I do. I think I do. I hope I do. I just need to ask one question, and I'll know for sure. What is that? Can you see it, Pay? Of course. Please, please. You don't even know how. All right. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Find the key. Take the contract. Smash my chains. Find the key. You take the contract, the fire will come. But don't forget me. Please, please. The rattle of chains echoes loud. <laughs> All right. And equipped our gloves of thievery and lockpick. This is strictly legal. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. DC 25 is uh, kind of impossible. To get a natural twenty. So our bonus is three to six. So I guess if we roll a four on the guidance, a nineteen could do it. But still, it's uh, tough. A uh, nineteen. We get two, and we get a three, just short. All right, let's not continue. Go ahead and just have him knock. Is that blood? No, never mind. His eyes flicker back and forth as if he... Mm, most irregular. The schedule is all but clear. And yet you are here. Just want to explore the archive. My guest, as long as you don't remove any... Unless Master Raphael decides otherwise, of course. Okay, so we're gonna have Gale around here, and we're gonna. Oh, 
this again. Nimble fingers. Ill intent. Important gains are still gains. My pleasure. We need it. So we'll come over here. Show your invitation. There we go. That writ allows us to get into here. That's where we really need to be. The path less traveled. I think the first one is a. I can't remember which is which. I think one is an Arcana, and then one is a Wisdom. I think the, I think the Wisdom one is first. Yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. And then we'll have him do Arcana. Twenty-one, nailed it. Treasure. Contract for Maul, okay. Yeah, and then uh, Staff of Spell Power. That is a far superior staff than the Iridescent Staff for him. So give that to Gale. Gives a plus one bonus to spell save DC and spell attack rolls. Gain battery, so essentially he gets uh, to cast one spell for free a day. That's a plus two, but he doesn't really use it to attack, but it's fine. Another step forward. I forgot, we get a... We get a um, a long rest option in here. So we get everybody in the pool. And then when we go and hit this, everybody gets a long rest. Or gets the benefits of a long rest. I guess the summons don't, but that's fine. And so we got all our spell slots back and everything. A lost little mouse is running through the house. A thief in the night. Why are you here, little thief? To kill you. You will make a pretty feast. Counter spell on me. Don't have your reaction now, though, do you? Do you? That's all he's got. Let's see, we're gonna fly up here. Wait, what? Oh, 
don't see. Are they immune to fire? They are. I'm guessing he is too. Oh no, just resistant. Hmm. Wait, do they have Radiant Retort? Oh, no, Fleeting, fleet, uh, fleeting Protection. Okay. Can't give up. My bad. is out of sight. Is it also dynamite? I wonder. Then he turns into a little wisp. Very annoying. Two natural ones. really far. Whoops. That's unfortunate. the contest has suddenly become kind of deadly. Oh, hey, critical strike for 10. That's not bad.
done. Oh, so he can't go into, uh... Nice. We're gonna pop one of these. I can go everywhere, man. Fly everywhere. There we go. No time to rest. Wonder if the gods are watching me. my attention as you wish I'm rather good at those time to find the archive and see what's speaking what's in here Classic Caldusk gloves. So we can take a look at these, see if anybody wants to wear them. Plus one bonus to spell save DC. And spell attack rolls. Weapon attacks deal one to four fire damage. And unarmed strikes uh, deal an additional one to six one d6 necrotic. And you get rays of fire, which is a cool a pretty cool cantrip. Reminds me, we need to get Gale uh, back with his gloves of dexterity. Get his AC up. Oh, you know what, actually? Doesn't change his AC because he's got Elven Chain. Uh, so, then, yeah, he would love these. At that point, we could definitely look at these for Will. Yeah. Give him a higher AC. Oh, these weren't even working for him because he was holding a shield. Ah, I'm so dumb.
Yeah, I like I like those better than like Boy, I mean you could definitely make an argument for these for Will though, because it adds a D6 damage uh a D6 for fire damage to all of his attacks. Damn. Yeah, these the these are best for Will. Right, but these do nothing for Gale. Let's see, what do we have for gloves? Um By the way, we got the Helldusk Helmet. Definitely consider using for somebody. Nah, actually, never mind. It's not that great. I mean, it's, it's decent, but it's not, it's not exactly what we're looking for here. these over here and we'll give her gloves of dexterity I'll just make her dex higher but I mean yeah where Gail uses cantrips more than she does not always but all right go with that for now Actually, you know what? Let's take advantage of this to, like, hyper buff. Um, like, we're gonna do this at fifth level. Give everybody some more health. And then, um, we're gonna do a slew of these. You know, I can get rid of some of these. I definitely don't need dip. Help. Improvise. I don't need brace. I'm never gonna use hamstring. I never use that either. That nice and cleaned up. This one actually may be important here. Lost in thought. 
Um, let's see. She needs long strider again because she died. Else is good. At least things have stayed interesting. Oh no, we were gonna have her do death ward on everybody. That's what I was gonna say. She's already got it. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could happen. There we go. to be protected by an end the magic might i suggest that was a little too easy this piece of humble parchment contains your your blood sudden just rang Raphael's dinner bell Do you grab is <laughs> go ahead and grab the amulet of greater help And the Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength. Thank you very much. All right, so these, uh, the Legacy of the Master's Gloves. Yeah, we don't need those anymore. We're going to go with Hill Giant Strength instead. That's our strength at 23. And then for Amulet of Greater Health, um, we're going to give that to Gale. So that's going to give him a lot more health, but it also helps his constitution saving throw uh, for keeping um, concentration on spells. Reminds me, let's split up our potions a little bit here. Those are still better for him. The Harper rings fine. Those are good. Gemini gloves are still good for him, I think. Better than yeah, Legacy of the Masters was really only good for me. Never wanted the easy path. It is gonna we're gonna go restructure Seems our stats a little bit based on those items, the but a bad news. <clears throat> Good news. You got what you came for. Successful visit. Bad news. So many things will be on fire when you step outside of this room. You included. Worst news, Raphael's on his way home and oh boy, oh boy, he is sprinting mad. He planned for this. It's really important that you don't panic. He'd come to my prison, bring the hammer, break my chances that we exit stage any which way. I'll be there. Wick is a cockroach. All right.
moving. Unleash me. Yeah, this thing is bullshit. It's uh resistant to a ton of different stuff. Um, acid, completely immune to necrotic and fire, resistant to lightning, immune to psychic and poison, and resist even resistant to radiant. So cold damage works against it. That's about it, though. Step to it. Like, I don't think uh, it's necrotic is one of the ones that's me into. That's resistant to lightning. Not that I really want to get up there and touch it. Me into fire, so fire, fire bolt won't work. Also, this is, it didn't say that this was on a short rest, but it is. It's on a short rest that this, you can only use this once per short rest. Okay. Well, we're just gonna give haste to Kalantir. And then we're just gonna fly back into the room. And be nice and out of the way. Fleet of foot. Didn't say anything about force damage though. Get back in the corner. I guess it doesn't get moved. That's unfortunate. Fly into the fire, unfortunately. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's resistant to all of that, but oh well. Bunch of eights and a six. Okay, great. Shall be done. Let's see, I really should re assess my spells here. works on him. All right.
damage. Wailing away at it. Just chipping it a little at a time. That's for fun. Let's see what that does. Oh, tons of damage. Nice. Nice. Force damage. Definitely the way to go against those. But necrotic works just fine, so there you go. Alright, I mean fire. Go away. Say two can play that game. Let's get on with it. Still breathing, despite everything. Be revealed.
Can't really do more damage with this glaive. It's ridiculously low. Target is out of sight. How do I figure that? Come on now. Now can we see it? Nope. Now we can see it. Excellent. She deals a lot of damage with this thing. Bleed for me. Oh, it's because she's also got the gloves of dexterity, so that's kind of cool. She only gets one attack with it, though. She doesn't get she doesn't get extra attack, so it's kind of kind of meh. Let's just keep it, uh... We're getting 400 XP per kill, though. It's quickly marching us towards that level. This is my time. Let's see, where are all our little enemies here? That one's dead. That guy is still up. Woo, not anymore, that's a lot of damage. left. Oh, that guy. That guy's left. No. I don't need to take it all back and fire. That's 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 all good. Double that even in fire. Wit 
Swords and blades always sharp. <laughs> Stop me yet. If not over, then through. Out of sight, out of mind. It's completely immune to fire. This guy's borderline useless in this environment, but that's fine. Let's end this. Also immune to necrotic. Yeah, no poison. Okay. Hit up this. Battle favors the fearless. 